As an itinerant minister, how does submission to the local church authority that you're invited into, how does that look to you? Oh, it's critical, Steve, mm. critical. Because as we travel, as we have emphasized in I think almost every session, yeah. we're there not just to convey God's word, but yep. to convey God's heart. Yep. Yep. And when we go into a local church, we are actually going into someone else's house. I know that it all belongs to Jesus. I know that yeah. every church, he's the absolute headship of that church. Sure. But he has chosen. Yes. He has appointed people to be the oversight of that particular body. That's his Very choice. Good. That's his divine appointment. When we recognize the... Their fathers and mothers in, in, that, in that house. When we recognize mm. those who he has yes. appointed, yes. we're actually recognizing him. Great. by that Great. appointment. Yep. And one of the uh, churches I've been to most over the years um, and ministered to, to most, it was a large church, the pastor one day said to me, David, what we love about your visit yeah. is that you are particularly careful for a prophet. He said, there's no blood on the floor. Mm. And I thought, mm -hmm. what does he mean by that? No blood on the floor. And then he explained. He said, um, when we have various prophets come in and go, it's, it's, it's almost like a way you weigh up one thing against the other because you wow. know it's going to be wow. spectacular, but then you also know you're going to have the fallout and the adjustments and the cleaning up afterwards. But he said, yes, what we want is prophets to come in yes. who who respect the culture of yes, the house yes. are not they are not restricted by the culture of the house but they respect it yeah the, the, there is a sense in yeah. which um, mm -hmm. them being there in that local church for those meetings yes not only reveals father's intention not yeah. only reveals father's yeah. purpose but strengthens the body yeah can I say to you mm -hmm. Steve mm -hmm. it's impossible to mm -hmm. strengthen that body of people unless we strengthen mm. their love and respect for their oversight. Yeah. Because mm. if, if anything yeah. we very do good, diminishes good. the respect the congregation has for their oversight, so good. then we're actually diminishing the wow. potential of their function in that yeah. local church yeah. and thereby diminishing God's wow. intention in that local church. Wow. And so it's not the prowess of a gift. Yeah. Have we left that body healthy and whole? And have we honored the Christ who appointed the leadership within that church? So it's about going in to serve, really. That that right there, the honor and the servant. Jesus said, if you want to become great, be the servant of all. He was the servant. Not, I'm the man for the hour. I'm the woman That's for it. the hour. Look what I've got. Almost like riding in as, as the the one that's going to make all the difference. Some, like, how do I serve this body? That's right. Yeah. Some super hero with their cape and flying in for their blast off. Yeah. I tell you what, they yeah. can do more damage. Yeah. Yeah. They can be a bit spectacular. Well. But afterwards, there's it, it's, we need to know that a month after we've been there, a year after we've been there, there is a sense that that visit mm. strengthened the local church. It mm. strengthened the house. Mm. Not, can it's, I say this nicely? Not wonderful. into our image. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's not getting a church to think like I think. Yeah. Behave like I behave. Yeah. Have the culture I have. Um, I'm not there to persuade them to be like mm. me. Mm. They may be very different. They may, they may have things in their worship service that that mm. I'm not sure about. But that's all right because infinite mm. variety in the body is a wonderful thing. Yeah. I when I go into a local church, yeah. Yeah. I'm there to strengthen that house in their culture in what God is doing for them. Yeah. Not to have my priorities or emphasis enforced Take upon it. them. You're there as a servant. You're there to see Father touch the life of that church and to leave it in a very, how can I say it, a, a, a strengthened yeah. heart. A strengthened yeah. heart as a local church. And honor 
and submission to the local church oversight as the father and the mother of that family is essential. Absolutely to, yeah, critical, absolutely wonderful. critical. And yeah, even, if they, even if they're younger, I, I, I'm, turning, I'm now 75, just turned 75. Let me say something. I go in mm. and there's a 24-year-old pastoring a local church. I am in submission to that local pastor this for is the good. entire this is time I'm present in that community. So good. Because the Christ, who's the king of all, Come on. appointed him the authority in that church, not me. Yeah. And so <laughs> I, I'm there to help his leadership, it's so not good, to persuade them concerning my prowess. Okay. God sees things differently than we see. Yes, good. And so kingdom culture over world's culture, and it's love, serve, honor, submit. Right. May this bless you.